coming to you from the beautiful city of Greenville, South Carolina, where the Lord Jesus Christ live. Joseph Forbes, God Holy Prophet Ambassador by the will of God. Our vision of Global Diplomat College Center is transforming students into leaders, leaders into agents of change, transforming followers, students into leaders, leaders into agents of change. That's our vision for Global Diplomat College Center. Our session today is defining the kingdom of darkness of this world. Defining the kingdom of darkness of this world, part one. Kingdom citizens do not fight. Christians fight against the devil. Kingdom citizens don't fight. Christians fight against the devil. We are citizens of heaven. Heaven is a country. Heaven is an invisible country with an invisible kingdom, an invisible king. He is the invisible king with an invisible kingdom. Ephesians 6 and 12 is one of the misunderstood scriptures in Christianity amongst Christians and religious leaders. We are being misinformed, we are being miseducated by Catholicism and religious leaders. Paul the Apostle made a statement in the book of Ephesians. Ephesians, Corinthians, Boys and Second Corinthians, Titus, they were letter. Paul write to address problems, difficulties that occur in Ecclesia in the church. Quote Paul, the apostle, Ephesians 6, 12, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principality, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Spiritual wickedness in high places. Kingdom citizen, do not fight. Christians do. Grown up in Christian churches, I once was a Christian. I am now not a Christian. I am a kingdom citizen. Grown up in Christian churches, pastors, leaders, they're always speaking about they're going to fight the devil. They're on a, on a warfare. We can pray and fight warfare. I did not understand. As they began to clarify these things, when I get into manhood and God called me and I see it for myself through the Holy Spirit, I understand what he was saying. We wrestle not 
against flesh and blood. We don't fight against humans, humanity, mankind. But we wrestle against prince, rules of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. It be misunderstood scripture defining defining means to define the nature of a thing defining the kingdom the rulers of darkness of this world the prince and power of the air who is Satan? Satan is the ruler of the kingdom of darkness of this world. He operates from the air. He operates from the air. Revelation 13, 8. All the inhabitants of the earth will worship the beast. All who name being written in the Lamb's book of life, the Lamb's who were slain from the foundation of the world. When mankind, Adam, sinned, it did not take God surprise. God had a plan. God's plan was redemption. God's plan was to redeem man back to himself. God, Jesus Christ, already solved the sin problem. It had already been solved before the foundation of the world. Revelation 13, 8. All the inhabitants of the earth will worship the beast and all whose name are not written in the book of life, in the book of the Lamb, who were slain before the foundation of the world, before the world was made, he was slain. He was slain. He take away the sins of the world. He forgive you of your sins before the foundation of the world. When mankind sin, every human, the word Adam means spirit. The word Adam, Adam means humanity. The word Adam is every human being, 7.7 .7 billion humans on planet Earth. And you, yes, I'm talking to you. I'm making my clear, clear. And you were dead in your sin, trespassing of sin. Walk accordingly to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that is now, today, this time, this minute, waking in the sons of disobedience. Yes, you got to study your enemy. The devil, Christians say the devil is the enemy. Jesus disagree. He already destroyed. Satan was already defeated before you were born who was slain before the foundation of the world. Your enemy is not Satan. Your enemy is ignorance, lack of knowledge. John 8, 44. Satan knows the prince of the air, 
rulers of darkness, I'm going to define who he is. Satan is the father of lies. Satan is the father of lies. Jesus made a statement, John 8, 44, you belong to your father, the devil, who wants to carry out your father desire. He was a murderer. He was a murderer. Every crime of murder, first degree murder, second degree murder, every crime of murder are created by satanic influence, Satan. He was a murderer. When Cain killed Abel, he was operating in Cain, the first family murder. He was a murderer from the beginning. Not holding the truth. For there is no truth in him. When he speaks, his native language is lies, deception. He is a liar. I'm the father of lies. And he has children who operate as sons of disobedience. That's one. Two, every nation of the earth are being confronted, especially America, England, and many developing nations, major nations, are being confronted with the word racism. Racism, I'm going to define what is racism from a spiritual perspective. Satan, heart, was corrupted. That's one. Satan, heart, was corrupted. Am I making myself clear? With racism and ego, Satan had in his heart racism and ego. His desire was to overthrow God. That was in his heart, to overthrow God. Now, who was Satan? Lucifer. Who he was? I'm going to define who was Satan. Ezekiel 28, Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, take unto your lamentation for the king of Tashus, and say to him, Thus said the Lord, Go to the king of Tashus, direct, go to Satan, direct, Thus said the Lord, you are the seal of protection. You are the seal of per perfection. Full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. You are in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone were your covering. You had jasper. Diamonds. You had every precious gold, emerald, every precious stone were your covering. The workman of your tumor and pipe organ were prepared for you on the day you were created. So Satan, or what you call the devil, were created. He was perfect. When he created, you walk back and forward in the midst of the stone. You are perfect in your ways from the day you are created. 
until iniquity, iniquity is racism, wickedness, until iniquity was found in you. What is iniquity? Iniquity is a secret sin that you cannot see. Folk could be right around you. You could be in the midst of a congregation. You could be in the midst of people. They racist some pastor. They racist church. Segregation in different churches. Racism in churches, in the workplaces, in the government. Every entity, business, racism. Tell iniquity was wrong in you. Racism is a secret sin which you cannot see. God made all men out of one blood. All men, humanity, are brothers. By the trading of it, by the abundance of your trading, you become filled with violence. Racist folk are filled with violence. They are filled with violence. And you sin. It's gross sin, violence, evil. Therefore, I cast you as perform a thing out of the mouth of God and destroy your covering cherub. He was a cherub, an angel, one of the leading its angel in heaven. From the midst of the first stone, your heart was lift up because of your beauty. You were corrupt in your wisdom. For the sake of your splendor, I cast you to the ground. I lay you before kings that might grasp for you. But by the iniquity of your trading, then I brought you from the midst and I turned you to ashes on the earth. That is the spirit of racism. Where did racism come from? The devil. Where did it begin? The devil. King hate Abel and he killed him. The first murder was the first spirit of racism. When Cain murdered Abel, describe racism. You were two brothers, Cain and Abel. Cain, Abel was shepherd. Cain was a farmer. Cain offered sacrifice to God and Abel. Abel's sacrifice was accepted and Cain sacrifice was rejected. And King got angry because his sacrifice was not pleasing to God. King offered fruits of the earth. Abel offered the lamb, his best lamb, his best sheep. He offered up the best of the God. God accepted. Then racism was born in the gut. In the time when Cain killed Abel, hate his brother is the spirit of hate. His spirit comes from Satan, ruler of darkness, racist government, racist politician in your country, many countries. Now, let me explain who is prince of the power of the air. Go in the book of Revelation. Book of Revelation. Revelation 12. 14. Revelation 12. 14. And there, and war broke out. Broke out in heaven. Michael and the angel fought with the dragon. And the dragon and his angel fought. But there was they did not prevail, nor were the place found in them in heaven any longer. Satan will cast out of heaven, and he can never place for never, never found. He will fight. 
you evicted from heaven. So the great dragon cast the old serpent called the devil, the Satan, who deceived the whole world. He was cast to the earth, and his angels were cast with him. The great dragon, he cast the law of a dragon, were cast to the earth, and all his demons were cast with him. Now, what is a demon? A demon lose their position. A demon is who lost their position. Jude 1, 6. And the angel who did not keep their proper domain, their proper order, their domain, but left their own abode, he reserved in the everlasting chains under darkness for the judgment of the great day, as Sodom and Gomorrah, and the city around them, in similar manner, on those having given themselves over to sexual immorality, homosexuality, man married and man. It's a work of Satan. It's a work of the devil, a false family, a counterfeit family. The only family God made is a man and a woman. God said, let us make man after our image. Let him have dominion. God made female, male and female. Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Giving themselves over to to sexual immorality, set forth for example, suffering, vengeance of eternal fire. They will enter into eternal fire. So the devil is a deceiver. He is the father of lies. He is the father of lies. Now, darkness, what is darkness? Is prince and power of the air, the rulers of darkness. Darkness is equal to ignorance, not having enough knowledge. Without information, no understanding about something, facts. Hosea 4-6, for 1800 years, church folk, pastors, leaders were misinformed, misunderstanding, running church buildings and organization, denomination through ignorance, through darkness, under the prince and the power of the air. Hosea, the prophet, made a statement, my people are destroyed from the lack of knowledge. Because you have reject knowledge, I have reject you as my priest, as my pastor, as my evangelist, as my deacon, as my prophet, as my teacher. Because you have reject knowledge, I have reject you. Because you have ignored the law of the Lord, I also reject your children. I reject your children. They shall not be any represented to me. They shall not represent me. The Bible is a legal book. It's a constitution. It deals with its right. The Hebrew word for darkness is ignorance. The Hebrew word for light is knowledge. Light is knowledge. Jesus said, you are the light of the world. Jesus also said, I am the light of the world. You are the knowledge of the world. You are the knowledge of the world. Colossians 1.13 
for he had reduced us from the kingdom of darkness and transformed us in the kingdom of his dear son. He had reduced us from the kingdom of darkness and transformed us in the kingdom of light, of the kingdom of light. Satan operated through the air, through the waves, through your internet, through your TV that comes in your home, through the radio music, through the demonical radio music that they play, the stylistic of hip-hop country, many music that they play, bluegrass, to glorify God, but glorify the world. Hip-hop music degrade young ladies and women, degrade your children. Be careful what your son and daughter looking at on the iPad. Be careful what they're looking at on their computer. Parents, your authority should monitor your children what they're looking at. Get the password, know the password, know the access, track what's going on with your children because you are responsible to God for those kids. The word ignorance means lack of knowledge. It means of knowledge or awareness. It means lack of of information. How do you deal with an ignorant person? One, an ignorant of person who don't have no knowledge, you with no information, he's rude. How do you deal with him, that person? You disregard him. You walk away. You walk away. You see from his perspective. My people are destroyed. How? Because of lack of knowledge. I have rejected thee. My people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. Just then, it's the message that you have heard of him. God is light. God is light. And God is light. In him there is no darkness at all. If we say that we have not sinned, we lie and the truth is not in us. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another so from all sin. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Defining the kingdom of darkness. He had transferred us from the kingdom of darkness, translated into his kingdom of his dear son. Transfer us into his kingdom of his dear son. The light of knowledge has come in the world. Men love darkness rather than light because the deeds were evil. Because the deeds were evil. Do not love the world. The world is the only system of government. Do not love the world. All the things that is in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world is the lust of the flesh. Yes, you've been married so long in your family. Your duty 
and your commitment is to your husband. Wife, your duty is to your husband. Husband, your duty is to your wife. Whom God joined together, let not man place asunder. That family supposed to be one family. One family. Seeing eye to eye. Walk in the light. For all that is in the world of lust of the flesh. The lust of the flesh. The lust of the eye. And the pride of life. For being proud. Everything the eyes see, they want to get. Lust of the eye. Lust of the flesh. And the world passed away. The lust of the eye, pride of life, is not of the Father, it's of the world. And the world passed away, and lust in it. But the word of God abided forever. But the word of what? God abided forever. Where are you? Are you in light? Or are you in darkness? Are you in light? Or are you in darkness? Now, this is a message coming from the King of Glory, Elohim, which have heard of him, Lord God Almighty, and declare it to you, God is light. The kingdom of God is the kingdom of light. Light. Light is knowledge. Kingdom of information. He said, I am the Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end. I'm the first and the last. I began the beginning. I see from the ends to the beginning. He is knowledge. In him there is no darkness at all. Folks will buy the young ones a computer, an iPod, for children's games and other accommodation to the kids. Never take that child and send them and teach them the word of God. God is light. In him there is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him, if we say that we have a relationship or fellowship with him and walk in darkness, the devil operates through ignorance. The devil's greatest power over you is through ignorance. The devil was already defeated before the foundation of the world. You operate through ignorance and walk in darkness. Practice darkness. Walk in darkness, he's lie, and do not practice the truth. But if you walk in knowledge, the light, as he is in the light, we are fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanse us from all our sins. He's faithful and just to forgive our sin. He's faithful and just to forgive our sin. My little children, these things I write to you so that you may not sin. And if any man sin, you have an advocate, the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous, and he himself is a protection for our sin. Not only our sin, but for the whole world. But for the world. God was in Christ, reconciled the world unto himself. God in Christ reconciled the world unto him. The kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things shall be added unto you. Seek the king. Seek the kingdom, and everything shall be added to you. Glory to God.
Hallelujah. protected by the king of glory as a kingdom citizen your goodness draws me to yours your mercy calls me to be like your they will believe on your word. Oh, Holy Father, bring mankind to you. For you are in Christ. Reconcile the world unto yourself. Oh, God, bless souls everywhere. Heal life. Speak against all cancer, all headaches, or eye problems. Come against all diabetes, all heart condition, all broken hearted, broken family, broken life. I speak your word into the heart. I speak that you wake them to the truth. Bring them to the knowledge of Jesus. Oh, bless your name, almighty God, for a life of the Father. God bless you. God bless the United States of America. And God bless the nation of good. <laughs> 